everyone and welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing really really well um, so today I am going to do a new review for you and this is for a foundation I don't think I've done a foundation review for quite some time now so I was really excited and um, the reason why I was extra excited um, is because I'm doing a foundation review for you which is a powder now that has never ever 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 happened uh maybe it has happened no, i don't think it's ever happened on my channel so um yeah i'm really looking forward to this so let's get into this okay so the foundation that we are reviewing today is from fenty beauty um it is their oh, what is it called uh, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Um, the colour I'm using is 170. Uh, this is the box, by the way, that comes in. So just like a normal cardboard box. Um, it has 9 grams of foundation in it. Now, I'm hoping that it's the correct um, colour for me. It looks, I think it looks okay. Because I got it online um, and I, I couldn't swatch it. So, yeah. Okay, so the claims on this foundation is um, that uh, it's a long wear, light as air and with no flashback. It's Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation, reduces the appearance of shine and features a blur filter uh, complex to deliver the ultimate blurred finish. The buildable light to full coverage uh, formula loves to be layered and won't settle into fine lines, clog pores or cake up. It's also sweat, humidity and crease resistant. Um, those are lots of claims I have to say. It comes in I think 40 colours if I'm not wrong. Um, and it retails for £24. Now that's not a lot. I mean it's not as much as some of the other foundations that we have in the market. But... Um, what I've noticed is usually that powder foundations are cheaper than like liquid or um, like other cream foundations. So maybe that might be one of the reasons. Anyway, um, let's get on with this. So this is what the foundation looks like. So it's a beautiful white um, casing. This is your foundation. And then right under it, you have a mirror, which is beautiful. Um, and then it comes with a sponge. Now, I've never used sponges like this before, um, and also, might I add, they've done something really clever with this. So this is actually not a mirror. Um, this is the, the bottom of the pan where the foundation actually is. So in theory, um, it's just a reflective surface. It's not really a mirror, but you can use it as a mirror because you can see, like, everything very clearly so i think that's really smart of them um because they reduce their costs obviously by not adding in a mirror but they've also given you a mirror and upped up the price for it i don't know i, I i'm not sure how they worked out um anyway so um since this is a powder foundation we're not going to use a brush um however just to mix things up um, what I'm going to do is use their um, applicator on one side and then I'm going to use my uh, Real Technique sponge on the other side. So let me zoom you in and we'll get right into it. Okay, so I have zoomed you in and um, I have only put moisturiser and my primer on. So the primer that I always use, which is the Smashbox um primerizer that's the one that i usually use so i want to give it a fair chance and not just use it on its own because i use that as a primer on my skin um anyway so yeah let's get on with application um so on this side i will use their sponge and then on this side i'm going to use their um i'm going to use my sponge so i'm just going to do a swatch for you on the hand it's very very soft and very creamy and it looks like a good looks like a good match on my hand at least so let's see it does say FB like Fenty Beauty on on top of it and it's like almost I don't want to I don't want to ruin it by putting my sponge in it but we have to do it. it has to happen guys right so I've got some over here and let's get this on the skin I've never used a foundation like this before um, I think I have 
maybe I have. I have used um, sponges like this before, uh, which was like right in the beginning of when I was started using makeup, and um, it was more of um, not knowing what to use, so I just used whatever came with it, um, exactly like like I am doing now. Um, I'm not sure if that's doing anything to my skin. The colour matches are definitely really, really good. Um, I did spend a long time online to see what my colour match would be. Um, so I'm hoping that I got the right one. And I'm hoping I'm using it correctly. It does smell like... It quite... I don't know what it does it smell like. It smells very familiar, but I can't really put my finger on it. I think it smells like... Um, old granny makeup but not in a bad way does that make any sense i don't know i don't really know what to say about it i don't hate it but then i'm not in love with it either because it hasn't given me like it's, it's very very soft i can feel my skin it's very velvety but i don't know i don't know what to feel about it okay right beauty and my sponge i don't know if i'm using this correctly because i'm having to dip the sponge really really hard in the in the compact like I really have to get it in okay I have to say the color match is absolutely spot on um, it's literally like it's undetectable on the skin like I cannot feel it on my skin whatsoever um, I mean I'm not bad I'm not mad at it but I don't know what to I don't know what to feel because I've I've never really used a powder foundation so I'm not really sure um, how to like what I'm doing wrong what I'm what I'm supposed to do um, the coverage is definitely light it's not medium um, in any shape or form and using my sponge obviously is easier because it's like a bigger thing and it's easy to hold um, as compared to their sponge which is very 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 small um, so I think I am happy with application so far I'm not going to do any more layers because I almost feel like I've I've used quite a lot already. Is this normal? Um, I have made this slightly damp because of my beauty blender, my sponge. I'm not sure if I should have done that, but I had to check it. I mean, I had to check it out. So, um, right. So this is the side where I use their sponge. Let me give you a close up. This is the side where I use their sponge. Um, now you can see I do have slightly dryness over here which it has exaggerated slightly um, and around my nose it hasn't given me enough coverage um, on the forehead if you can see there's like a slight dry patch over here over here and it hasn't really um, completely covered it up and then on this side which is the sponge side um, again, so I've got this like really weird dry scab on my uh, my nose, which again has ex exaggerated it. Um, it hasn't given me any coverage around my nose, even though I really went in there. Uh, the cheeks are fine. My chin is fine. Nothing there. Um, and then again, the forehead it's mm, like, can you see that the dryness can you see it's so patchy all right okay so this is what we are working with so far um the color match is good i really do like the color match um i like the packaging but yeah like always i will have this on my uh, on my face for the whole day and then at the end of the day we will do a check-in and see what's it looking like how it held up 
Um, so yeah, I will do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. Okay, so I am back with the rest of my makeup done. Um, I will zoom you in again just so you can see exactly what the foundation is looking like. So this is the side where I use the applicator. And then this is the side where I used my sponge. At this moment, my skin feels very comfortable. Um, it's not m moisturizing, it's not creamy, uh, it's very lightweight. It is obviously very um, dry because it's, it is a found powder foundation. Um, and it's very comfortable to wear, there's no doubting that whatsoever. Um, but I almost feel like, like, I can't feel it on my skin, but I don't know, maybe I think I'm, I'm not used to wearing powder foundations, which is why I'm, I'm feeling this, but uh, it almost feels like it's a powder that's sitting on my skin. Now, that might change during the day when my natural oils from the skin come in and they mix them up, it might be. Um, so, yeah, it could be one of, one of those reasons. Um, but anyway, we shall persevere, wear this for the whole day, and then I'll see you at the end of the day. <clears throat> um, end of the day now, but please excuse my very smudged eye foundation. Um, I will give you a look now. So, this is the side where I used my own sponge, and this is the side where I used their sponge. I'm not as oily as I can be because I do get oil in my on my nose. Um, and like around this area <clears throat> and sometimes my forehead so that's definitely not there I don't have any oil uh, any oiliness um, and it has held up quite well the color is absolutely spot on I think if I need to say what I feel about this in a nutshell then I would say that it is a good foundation I say this because is it, it initially looked quite patchy on my face um, after a while actually once the oils did come um, come out of my face my skin um, they did mix up with foundation and actually looked really quite flawless um, there isn't any like it's not cakey or anything I did put two layers on and it was quite um, quite thick I have to say like I'm I'm not gonna lie it was quite thick in the sense that I did put a lot on because I couldn't see on camera what I was doing maybe I think next time I might usually need to do slightly more a bit more prep um, because I don't wear powder foundations I didn't know what kind of prep was needed for this so I just prepped my skin like I would do for any foundation be it um, liquid or cream or anything um, then maybe I might put like a slightly thicker primer on um, just so that it helps um, the foundation glide on but I mean honestly guys I'm not gonna lie um, I wasn't I didn't like it initially but so far I don't dislike it I do touch my face quite a lot so for that for that it's it's quite good um, <clears throat> instead of the fact that it's rubbed off my chin but I, I, I do touch my chin a lot um, and I have touched my chin a lot during the day so that's definitely one of the things and um, yeah it hasn't made me oily whatsoever and I have at this point I have had this on my face for just under 10 hours so like nine and a half hours and for that it is absolutely brilliant so I will definitely use this again and if you guys haven't tried it please do let me know what you think and yeah I'll see you guys later